Carlo. Hey guys, I got a new product review for you. Um, just a little background. I've recently just been unable to wake up on time. I've just been hitting snooze at least 15, 20 times and I'm not exaggerating. I'll have like five alarms set and I just keep hitting um, snooze. I'll turn it off on accident and just wake up at whatever time. Um, uh, most of the time I only wake up if somebody's like texting me or calling me or something which is pretty bad considering, you know, I'm working full time. Um, so that's the struggle working at home. But today I have a product, the Pavlock 2. And I don't know, I don't know how I came across this, but I, I came across it a while back and I've been slacking on getting it. But I decided, I decided to get it finally. And if you don't know what the Pavlock is, it's, it's essentially, um, a wrist a wristband that you wear and its original use is just to wake you up but by shocking you so instead of making a noise it'll like shock you in order to wake you up and now i don't know if it's a real shock or if it's more like a vibrate but hopefully it's not dangerous um but after reading the package it says it's it's um it's helpful for breaking other bad habits like nail biting mindless eating um, being on your phone too much. So that might be helpful too, because I am on my phone all the time uh, while I'm supposed to be working. So um, it says you, you just uh, connect it to some of your apps and I guess it'll sense when you're using the apps and shock you or do something, give you electric impulses. So I'm going to give this a try tonight and hopefully when I wake up, um, I wake up on time because of the Pavlock. And if you don't know, I think Pav the Pavlock is based on um, Pavlov, who was like a, he was a old school like psychologist who ran a lot of tests. And, and one of the tests was um, on like the cognitive behaviors and he was testing it on dogs. Um, so he basically figured out like the electrical impulses would get them to do certain things or not do certain things um, over time. So that's is you know it's a play it's a play on his name. Um, long story short, so I'm just gonna open this up a little bit so you can see um, what it what it looks like before I. Uh... So it looks pretty. Pretty simple. Um, gotta really get in there to get the USB charger cable. Um, I don't see any instructions in here. Oh, here we go. So you basically just gotta re download this, uh, download the guide and then um, get the Pavlog app and then it'll work. So uh, I'm gonna give this a try tonight and hopefully um, it works like it's supposed to work and I'll give you my feedback. Well, we're back. This is three or four days after I've been using this, um, the Pavlog 2. So essentially how it works, um, you charge this which is the little, this is the battery, but it's also the part that shocks you. And then you put it, you put it in the rubber band, rubber band. <laughs> um, and then you just wear it like a wristwatch. And so the main thing you have to download the app and on the app, it'll have, it has like different modules you can say, but, um, and then it has like a videos you have to watch or you should watch. So you can understand it. They have a, a PDF manual um, so you can read everything. But it to me personally, it seemed pretty simple. Um, they have like a whole list of different habits that you might want to break. And like I said, me personally, I wanted to do it for sleeping. So I pretty much only wear it when I go to sleep and then just have the alarm um, wake me up when it's time. So you set the alarm in the app and then it'll wake you up. It supposedly monitors or tracks your sleeping. 
I'm not quite sure how accurate it is because one time I left the watch charging one day and it said I was asleep for 20 hours. So obviously I don't know if it was really tracking it because it was saying deep sleep and light sleep. So obviously if it was stationary, how does it know that? So I'm not quite sure how accurate the sleep tracking part of it is, but um, I can give you my review of how it shocked me. Um, so, it, you know, it, you wear it like a, like a, on your wrist. So I'll show you, um, just put it on like this. I'm right-handed. So this is, this is a little challenging trying to, uh, put it on with my left hand. Um, but normally I don't know why I just like want to put it on my right hand. I feel like if I put it on my left, it, the shock might hurt too much, but essentially you can test out how strong the shock is on the app. You have to change the strength of it. And then what, once it does shock you for alarm, you can tap it once to um, snooze or hold it for five, press and hold for five seconds to turn it off. Now, the first day I tried it, I didn't, it didn't really work. I don't know if I was doing it right or I don't know as far as pressing it. I got to practice more, but I, uh, I just went on my phone and turned it off. So that was that. In terms of the shock, I'm not going to lie. It is, it does kind of hurt. It's weird because it's not like it's going to burn you or anything like that, but I don't, I don't know if it gets in your nerve system or something, but like it did, it, the shock kind of hurts a little bit. So I'm not going to lie. Like once that joint shocks me, uh, I, I'd be ready to get up and you can set it for how many pulses it does. So I set mine's for three to make sure I feel it. So so even after that first one, it, it was like three in succession. So even after that first one, it kind of hurts. It's like, dang, like I'm ready to take it off. Um, but I guess technically there is the loophole where you could just turn it off and still go back to sleep. So you do have to have some type of self-discipline to make sure you get up when it shocks you. But I will say it does wake me up. And once once I used it the first day, the second, the second day I used it, I don't know if it was like my body... Um, trying to react to it, but I, I could feel myself not being deep sleep, kind of just waiting for it to shock. Like I woke up before the alarm, just like waiting, like when's it gonna happen? So I don't know if that's the intended effect, but that's just how how I noticed it. Um, besides that, the other uses for it were like, say if you're on your phone too much, you bite your fingernails, you know, you, um, you play with your hair a lot. Based off of the instructions, what you should do is whenever you have a, that urge to do some habit that you're trying to break, that you should tap it. And then by tapping it, it'll send a, a, a jolt of electricity. And that'll build um, like a response in your head that whenever I have this thought or do this impulse, then I'm going to get shocked. And in order to avoid that, you'll avoid doing that impulsive behavior so that's the psychology behind it but i haven't been able to do that because in the app um it says you can only basically track one habit at a time so because i selected i wanted to break the uh sleeping in habit then i it knows like only the alarm is applicable i can't just tap it and it shocked me um so maybe once i get up get over this sleeping in habit then I can try the other habits. Um, it is cool. It says you can change the voltage just by like double tapping the top. I don't know if you can see it lights up. So that's how you can change it. Um, so that's basically my review. Um, the videos, as far as the instructional videos, they were pretty basic. Basically recapping what I already said, but it'll it'll just explain more so how the process works and the, kind of like the psychology behind it. But at the end of the day, it still requires some type of self-discipline. One, I feel like if you go through the length to even get this, you must be disciplined or like have some type of, some type of control of yourself in order to know that you need to change the habit first off. But then two, you need to have the discipline and self-control to say, oh, I don't want to do this. Let me actually shock myself. You know, you, you might be like, hey, I know this is bad, but I don't want to shock myself. So you just 
you just ignore it or you just stop wearing the watch or, I mean, we're wearing the band or whatever. So that's one caveat personally. Like, I feel like it will be cool if maybe you can pair it with a family member or a friend and they can actually shock you. Um, I did notice they have, like, uh, a way you can connect it to, like, your your computer browser. And then if you go on a certain website or on a website too long, it can shock you. But I haven't figured out how to do that. It was, like, a, another thing you need to download. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if there's, if there's anything else, um, about the watch. Like I said, I think it's a good investment if you have the self-control and, um, if you really are persistent in trying to end the habit, um, based off the instructions, they said it could only take maybe like five days for something such as like, you know, biting your fingernails or even like smoking. Um, they had some stories about it. I don't know how accurate that is. I haven't tried doing one of those habitual habits yet. But um, hopefully you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you want me to do another review of another electronic device. And that's a wrap.